Hey, this will be a video chart on gold. Uh, for this, I will be using the GLD to track it. There's many different ways out there you can track the gold sector. Looking over here, you can see that these are not the prices that you would see, you know, going across CNBC or something like that. Uh, that is because, like I said, we're using the GLD. They all measure the same thing, though. Um, and if you want to play uh, gold in the form of a stock, you know, this is one of your options that you can do. Uh, so unless you've been living in a cave or just don't watch TV or scan the headlines, uh, you should know that gold's but just been in another monster upwards move. Uh, we had this dip uh, during the later part of the summer here, and then when it broke out right here, uh, it's just pretty much been off to the races, and now we're seeing another uh, pullback. And it's kind of interesting, and I want to map out. Got been getting questions on it, and it is just uh, one of those commodities that we should be watching because obviously the higher gold goes, that's implying the weaker the dollar's getting. And in my opinion, you know, uh, we need to have a strong dollar. So I'm um, of the mindset that we want, I want to see gold personally fall and uh, fall as far as possible because I want a strong dollar. I think that having a strong currency uh, is needed for uh, economic or for strong economics and let alone, you know, good economic uh, recovery. So um, with this, you can see that we had a gap down here a couple weeks ago and then it's gone into this range. Uh, and I should note that, you know, overall, the, the trend is bullish for gold. You have the 50-day swooping up very nicely, moving average, and you have the 200-day, this orange line, even curled up. So the overall context is gold. So what I'm talking about right now is pretty short-term uh, because in the grand scheme of things, you know, gold just, you know, in a huge uh, bull trend. Uh, but we are experiencing, I don't even know if it'd be safe to call this weakness, more of just a pullback here. And so far, it's been uh, holding up. So it's looking like it might just be a matter of time before it starts to head uh, up to uh, previous highs. But it's established itself for now in this um, little bit of a, a channel. So if we look at the bottom of the channel, it's pretty much down here uh, where there's a previous gap up from um, back on the 1st of October. Um, it, it gapped up, or excuse me, on uh, the, the 4th of October, it gapped up the next day. And then we created this area of support right now. So this is one of the short-term supports uh, that should be monitored. And you can see that so far, about three times now, the price has gone down there and bounced off that level, which would make sense because looking back down here, uh, it was a previous high. And then the top of this support level is derived from pretty much on the gap down day. It tried to make a recovery up. You can see by this uh, wick here. And then it just kind of get right through it. And now you've seen multiple times where the price has come up and hit this level uh, right here. I'm not going to use actual prices because, like I said, the prices over here are not what you see on the news. Uh, but, you know, with charting, it's more of just what's going on with the price action. And you can see right now that the price action of gold is stuck in this little bit of a consolidation channel. Now, let's kind of go over both sides of, you know, the what ifs. What if we get a breakthrough to this side well then in my opinion it'll definitely come up here and close this gap here and probably make its way up to at least test new highs uh, you know I wouldn't be surprised to see it put in a double top and then retrace back down here a little bit uh, but at the same time with the, this uh, as strong as gold has been you know I, I wouldn't be surprised either to see it just blow right through it so once again with a break to the upside of this channel you know I'm looking for it to retest highs now, if it breaks below, then I think we'll have uh, at least a little bit deeper of a pullback, probably down and uh, give this moving average right here. Uh, once more, this is the 50-day simple moving average. So if we break to the bottom part of this channel, uh, you know, I'm looking for another uh, bit of a decline, but I'm sure it'll find some support, even if it's just temporary, uh, right here at the 50-day. And, you know, from there... Uh, you know, support start to thin out a little bit more. But, you know, one step at a time, we first got to see even what direction, um, you know, the price is going to move um, either downwards through the channel or uh, break back up to the upside. So that's pretty much, you know, the short term snapshot of what's going on with gold. Uh, if there are any other questions, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with the newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was uh, the gold sector. Thanks for listening.